So I was originally planning on not getting this game, but after a long while of debating and having second thoughts and seeing some trailers for it, I ended up saying... Fine. And here we are now. How's it going everyone? Bien13 here with an unboxing of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. I at the last minute decided to pre-order this game and I'll go ahead and open this as I explain why. I actually decided not to get this game in the first place but as I mentioned in the video I uh, decided to get it now after getting some second thoughts into buying this game and I'm probably just going to uh, move this thing right here. Uh, the reason why I decided on not getting this game in the first place was it was mostly because I did play the remake of Link's Awakening. If you remember I did an unboxing for that. I did play Link's Awakening, however, I did not play it that much because I don't know what to do with a TD Zelda game like that. So I decided to still keep the game, but I decided to no longer play it that much and just move on to the 3D Zelda games like Breath of the Wild and Tears of Kingdom. Yeah, and like I also mentioned, after seeing a couple trailers for this game, most of them being the first announcement trailer from a Nintendo Direct back in June, I literally just decided why not give this game a shot and see if I like it enough to not receive that Link's Awakening fate. So, uh, I'm trying to open this up now. And yeah, so, uh, first thing as you may have noticed, uh, I did pre order this game and I have here a Echoes of Wisdom uh, screen cleaner. This is designed to be like a keychain style screen cleaner with Zelda on it. We'll open this up in a bit. And here's the actual game The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, this time around you'll be playing as Zelda instead of Link, which is pretty fascinating, I would say. This side, back, one player, this is a C's copy. And uh, yeah, I don't know which one I'll open first. Let's just open the, uh, the screen cleaner first. I would actually admit I am neutral about the Legends of the series, and I am probably am interested in playing this game. I think I had it stuck in here in my mind. So, uh, looking at the screen cleaner, uh, removing it from its uh, packaging, there. Yeah. Some clips holding the string. All right. Here's one more look at the card thing that the screen here was in. And here's screen cleaner. I'm assuming you attach the string to something like a. Uh, uh, hearing or 
maybe a bag or something, or maybe your phone, if your phone has uh, the hooks to attach this thing on. Uh, this little badge right here says Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. And here's a look at Z Zelda. Uh, I do heard that this game is the style of the Link's Awakening remake. And looking at Zelda now, she has like her staff here. The back is pretty much cloths. I didn't expect it to be uh, this color cloths. I was expecting it to be like black or something, but this is the, the screen cleaner. Now moving on to the actual game. So we see the box right here. We have Zelda, uh, Link, some enemies. And yeah, uh, this isn't really the first game I played that you actually play as the princess and the main character. I do remember Princess Peach Showtime had that concept back in March or something. And uh, for this to happen for the first time in a Zelda game feels probably unique. I don't know if... Uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity or Hyrule Warriors count as Zelda playing as Zelda being playable as herself I mean but this is a real adventure Zelda game where you actually play as Zelda so moving this now And here's one more look at the game without the wrapping on. Yeah, kind of mysteriously when it comes to most of these uh, Asia copies of games I have, they don't have the uh, the earring uh, sign at one of these corners, one of the bottom corners like I know in the US games they have that I think some of the switch games that are also from Southeast Asia also have those rings but nowadays they don't seem to add those anymore kind of mysterious anyway uh, opening it up okay so this is the inside art. Just a full view of Hyrule. Looking at the cartridge now. Here's a look at it from here. Another look from here. So yeah, that's basically the unboxing of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Now I just have to pop open my Switch and maybe even play this game, I don't know, but I'll go ahead and set up my Switch now. Alright, I got OBS set up again, and here's one more look at the game. So, popping this one into my Switch now. Uh, here's the icon for Echoes of Wisdom, and uh, I will open the game up in a bit, but first I also wanted to check out the uh, Switch Online uh, profile icons like I've done before on some of my unboxing videos. So, uh, looking at here, these are all the new ones for uh, Echoes of Wisdom. I think I'll get the two Zeldas and Link. Here's Zelda 1. Here's second Zelda. And then Link. I don't know what backgrounds should I choose. Let's go with this one. And this one. Oh, go for 
this frame, and this one right here. So let's just try uh, make an icon with this with these. For characters, I think I'll choose this Zelda backgrounds. I can't choose either one of these, but I think I'll choose a color for this one. Uh, I don't know which one to choose. Maybe this lavender should do. Doing one for a link now. Do a frame for this one. This can do it. Yep. Uh, backgrounds. Let's choose this one. Or maybe the other one can do. There are two icons. So, other than me stopping right here, then say bye or anything. I think it's about time we open up Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. But now open up Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Here's the opening as we saw in that first uh, teaser trailer back in June. I think this is the one where Link saves Zelda. He sounds so young Link sounding. Going up through here. Okay, so in the first section of this game, we are playing as Link. Swing sword. Uh huh. I can jump with B. Uh, use bombs with A. Bone arrow, uh, X. Looks very promising so far. I can either jump here or go over it. It would be more sense to fully jump if that path is fully blocked like this one right here. I don't know if there's anything here. No, that staircase is completely blocked. Um, dodging enemies with my shield. I would admit it might be my capturing the bias or something, but. This feels... the controls look way similar to uh, Link's Awakening, but, but, but uh, holding, controlling Link now feels pretty natural, I would say. Okay, there's more grass. Going through this door. Uh-huh. Raw blocks. Uh, let's see how to target. <sighs> I used my bow and arrow for that one. <sighs> Try not to waste too much of my arrows. 
Got our heart. Kind of mysterious for most 2D Zelda games to still have uh, hearts available when you defeat certain enemies. Like, I literally have been more relevant on playing Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and in those games, you collect uh, certain food items and such to uh, create uh, food to. Um, you know, uh, what's this? You use either the food or either cooked or uncooked to uh, fill up your stamina, fill up your heart. And he's literally body my these guys. <laughs> Gain more hearts from these boxes. Going up here now. <sighs> Seems like getting more dark here in a minute. And now we're flying off that scene. And Zelda is challenged. So, let's see what we can I'll let you read the rest. And there's Link taking his uh, hood off. Taking him a few times. Fireballs. I'm almost losing a bunch of hearts now. And I think that's now the last hit. Vanishes. Police. So free Zelda. And he's gone. Why to get Zelda out? And I think this is the part where I uh, play as her. I think I'll link hood right here. Right. Now the only thing I have to do is get out of there. How am I supposed to run faster? <sighs> that didn't go too well. Let's try number two. Hurry. 
jump. Blowing all of those rocks that fell. Or it's getting closer. Oh man. I don't know if I'll still make it. I wish I could run faster in this game, but I don't think I can. When it comes to 2D Zelda games, I can't really run that fast. But I'm able to get out. Now we get to the title screen. It's about to be the Thailands. Wow. Show there. So uh, I think I'll just stop right here. Uh, I wish I can play the game a bit further, but I don't think now it's really time to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.